without the child's plans. It will take me. And there's no other two ways about it. This disease kills. These doctors are operating within a government program. It's a transplant program. It's not we're going to see her family doctor to talk about you know, why she has a stomach ache. This is a government funded program and um, AHS is, is overseeing it and is involved. And the issue is while these doctors are operating and fulfilling their role within this program, we say they're acting as state agents when, they, when they're doing so and the court did not agree. Without the transplant, it will take me. And there's no other two ways about it. This disease kills. If you're one of the over 6 million unvaccinated Canadians, you have to watch this video. It pertains to a woman, Sheila Annette Lewis, an individual who is seeking an organ transplant, a life-saving organ transplant, and she is being denied because of her vaccination status. I'm one person. I'm in the fight of my life, for my life, and no politician like the government can tell me what to do with my life. I don't tell them what to do with their life. So don't tell me what to do with mine. Hey, we have a petition calling on the government to stop allowing this coercion of organ transplant patients, denying them life-saving care if they don't get a vaccine they don't want. <laughs> Guys, the overlords at YouTube decided that there's information in this video that they're not willing to share with you. So if you want to see that full video and you want to prevent yourself from being censored, well, you got to go to rebelnews.com or in the case of this video, you can check out organsnotcoercion.ca.